stuff. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Using Market Profile to Improve Your Stock Trading webinar. I'm your co-host, Ray, a.k.a. All Day Ray, and we're joined by JJ, a.k.a. VWAP Trader 1. JJ, what are we going to get into today? <laughs> we're going to uh, open the hood and pull back the curtain and find out what's going on in these equities. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. And so market profile, we'll start off with this market profile profile is not a trading strategy. It's confirmation to use for your existing trade setup strategy, increase your profits per trade, improve your risk management, also help increase consistency in your trading. Anything, anything to add to this slide, Jay? Yeah. I mean, uh, I like to, you know, I like to show people profile and, you know, it's, it's not a holy grail, but what it is, is if you have a trading strategy, it can really, you know, help you by showing you, eh, you know, maybe they're getting too short, getting too long, you know, uh, you can take a look at it and it'll look, you know, you can see, okay, I want to transact here because my strategy says this and profile will give you some nice confirmation. Um, you know, it helps you increase your profits because it helps you manage your trades and manage your expectations when you're in a trade, when you trade structure, and uh, definitely helps increase consistency uh, because as we'll see later on, it takes a lot of, it, it helps um, manage your emotions when you actually can see what's going on inside a market. Yeah, yes, yes it does. And so why should day traders use market profile? Market profile is not a trading system, but market generated information and a decision point system along with your existing equities trading systems. Provide you knowledge about who's in control of the market, dynamic traders, technical traders, etc. And market profile gives the trader an idea about where to take a trade and how not to get caught in traffic. And a big thing is helps reduce the fear of missing out, aka FOMO. Yeah, this is this is the really cool part of it. Uh, you hear a lot of people talking about order flow. Well, market profile is the purest form of order flow because what it does is it organizes the order flow in a visual manner and gives mm -hmm. it a structure. Right. And that way, that structure can tell us a lot about what's going on in the market. Uh, you can watch the trading in that structure to see who's in control, right? The dynamic traders who push price around and we have to follow them, right? Because... Yep we get long because somebody's going to come in behind us and push the price up uh, and vice versa when we're short. So knowing when that scenario is going to happen and the higher odds of that scenario happening really, really help. Um, and it really, really helps us um, look at price action and knowing when not to trade, which is, you know, when I first started always a problem, not knowing when to get, you know, knowing when not to transact because it's very choppy sometimes. And you can see that displayed very visually on these type of charts. And it really helps you sit back and wait until they sort out the order flow. Yeah. And uh, that gets into fear of missing out because you, it takes away that fear of missing out when you actually understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sure does. So market profile solves the guesswork and trading stocks. As a trader, it often happens that we tend to see what we want to see and react based on limited information. Market profile shows the real-time auction taking place in the market. The two-way auction process is market-generated information. By relying on market-generated information, one can learn who is in control of the market and also help a trader stay away from the retail-style crowd play. Yeah, I, I, you know, all of those sort of bullet points, you know, really come together in understanding who you're competing with when you're trading and what their intentions are and where they're doing business. And, you know, when they get away from that area, you know, what's the likelihood that we'll come back to that area. So those things really help you. Um, you know, it gives you so much more information than just looking at a level two screen or a chart because it gives you almost like, it's almost looking at like a chart um, with another dimension and that dimension is time. Mm -hmm. um, and in two way auctions, which these markets are, 
we really like to see where price is accepted or rejected and that really helps so much it's such a simple concept um, but yet it's so powerful so why, why is trade location and order flow important to the equities day trader well the best risk management is good trade location if you can put on a trade that has high odds of success because what we're doing is we trade order flow. We trade um, the order flow of dynamic traders. So what we're doing is we are looking for when inventory gets too long or too short and we trade against that. So if you have good trade location when inventory is reversing and you're on the right side of it, your odds are much higher because you know, for example, retail is trapped and they're selling off down to wholesale hands. So you can take a short. Really, really nice way to look at order flow. And it's a very, very nice visual way to look at order flow. A lot less confusing than trying to figure out a level two chart, a level two, uh, you know, box or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, putting in a lot of guesswork around in indicators. You can actually see where the transactions are happening and, and, uh, and how uh, we transact once we get to very, very visual references. Understanding order flow and market generated information. When order flow transact, it leaves a structure visual by the TPO charts. This information we get from structure tells us who's in the market, what their intentions are, where retail traders are caught long or short, where stops will be, when not to short, using float analysis with profile to be on the right side of the trade. Yeah, this is. This is my sort of takeaway from looking at, at profile and looking at markets with profile. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing who's in the market, if it's technical traders, you're, you have good odds of taking mechanical technical trades at very visual references. And what you can do is you can look and see how price behaves once it gets to those references. It's very, very clear on a TPO chart. Mm -hmm. So that that's one thing that helps you confirm a trade or um, you know, if you're worried about taking a trade at a certain location, look and see how the price is behaving when we get there. Uh, if it's behaving properly, then the odds of that trade working are better. Of course, always use stops, right? And then you can also see when the retail traders like us are caught long or short. We have things called poor highs and poor lows. Mm -hmm. And these are concepts uh, that I never even saw before I saw a TPO chart. And it's just absolutely wonderful how they show you when traders are trapped. And then you'll, you know, you can take a nice counter trend trade to that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I want to ask you about uh, the market auction theory, and you know, it given I think equity traders a a different perspective or a different uh, or add to the system that they're already using. What what do you think about that? I, I think it, I think it's a great addition to any system mm -hmm. because uh, the concept of seeing where price is being accepted. Um, you know, for example, in the current S&P 500 rally, price has been accepted higher and higher and higher over time. It's been so apparent using right. market profile. And this way, we've kept so many of our friends from getting short in the hole. We're getting short against, you know, very, very serious buying. So, you know, that, that's, that's, that, if it can even save you money uh, and keep you from, from not shorting at the wrong trade location, that in itself is is worth its price in gold it's worth its weight in gold yeah you know absolutely um and uh float analysis if i talk about that briefly oh, yeah. um float analysis is really um it's it's a wonderful thing when you're looking at trading equities um in profile we say structure is everything uh i've taken over 200 companies public and the way those companies are structured really affects how the stock trades so if there's a lot of stock in the float, who owns it? Where is it concentrated? Is it short? How much of it is short? All these sorts of things. And you put that together sort of, um, you know, in the same picture and use the, uh, the profile to see where price is accepted and rejected. It can really, really be quite a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. And so here we got an example, RAD, right Aid. So what are the charts here telling us, Jay? Well, the chart on the, uh, the right is the sort of longer term chart. And, uh, 
you know, you could see them fading the price into year end as the price came lower and lower, you know, from the nines all the way down to seven and a half. And uh, you could see at the end of the year um, that they were putting in a bottom and that long white arrow uh, shows you that, you know, a set of three lows that did not have very visible excess. So you could see that the shorts were having trouble getting it lower and lower. Mm-hmm. And, and, if you, and Jay, sorry, not, not, to, yeah. not to interrupt you, but for maybe for people that might not be familiar with what excess is. Okay, if you look at the chart on the left, you see the you see that profile with that. Uh, right. That's excess. That means right, that, that auction, the, yeah, mm-hmm. is is over. When you don't see that, that's showing you that the sellers are running out of steam. Right. In a market, and you can see that the upside's coming now. The cool thing is, you throw a little float analysis in there, and you know, right aid the float was fifty one million shares. Fifty percent of it was held by institutions. Um. You know, and 27% of the float was short. So you could see that it's a recipe for an upside move. You, you can see structurally the profile shows you, okay, you know, they're, they're having trouble pushing it lower here. They're running out of steam on the sell side. Oh, look, at there's a big short position. Oh, and month end and year end are coming. Well, you know, you put two and two together. Uh, you have structure. You have agenda of month end year end and then also you have the float analysis so it can really help you in swing trades um you know to the long side that was a beautiful trade yeah yeah good stuff good stuff so you guys can learn more about market profile at micro's e-mini educational trading room uh the room's open 24 7 screen sharing with jj live on the mic uh it gets recorded daily if you can't make it live we have a training library uh, full of articles written by Jay himself, videos, et cetera. We also got a great community of members. Uh, right here is our daily schedule. You guys can look over that. And for this webinar, we have a special rate available now at $45. JJ, anything uh, you want to add to this webinar before we sign off? Well, uh, thank you everyone for listening and we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions about how this works, you know, give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Uh, If you have any questions about how the room works, uh, I'm always available. I'm even available on weekends and things like that. And, uh, you know, we have a sort of a personalized touch. If if you're, if you can't figure something out, you know, I'll hop on the phone and and go through it with you because we can talk through our discord room and things like that. So. Uh, we're always available and, you know, uh, you know, we're committed to, to uh, helping you through the jungle of all this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for listening. It's going to wrap up our webinar. Like Jay said, you guys have any questions, reach out to us, be safe, use stops. You guys have a good evening. Good morning. Have one every time you listen in. <laughs> have a, yes, exactly. Yeah. Have a great evening. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, Bye-bye. Man. All right. But good night.